What is going on guys, Bang Lanier coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing another Sporkle quiz. And when you guys tweet these to me, if you could um, put the word quiz in your tweet, it would make it a lot easier for me to find some of these. So George Groom, aka Papa Groom, appreciate these quizzes that you sent to me. I retweeted them so I wouldn't lose them, but I lost them. I tweet so much. But we have, name every Texas Longhorn taken rounds 1-3 to three since 2000. We're going to do that one first, and then Giants Pro Bowler since 1990 next. I don't know how well they're going to go, but these made were these are specially made for me. So I think that's very cool. Thank you so much for doing that. We have 10 minutes to name 36. This is 8 plays, because I retweeted them, so I guess people took a stab at them. But these are eventually videos. I was in Texas when these uh, were tweeted out to me. So it took me a while. He included the pick, the team, and the position. It's gonna get easy. It's gonna be easy, and then progressively get harder. So that kind of sucks. But you know, I'm up for a challenge. Ten minutes, and this is every Texas Longhorn taking rounds one to three since 2000. Let's go. Pick 89, Texans running back. That's Deontay Foreman. Pick 32, Patriots defensive tackle. That's Malcolm Brown. Also gets me Curtis Brown in 2011. Eagles, pick number 84. I'll just Jordan Hicks. Saints, safety, pick 15, Kenny Vaccaro. Bills, wide receiver, pick 78, Marquise Goodwin. Picks 14 for the Seahawks, free safety. Of course, Earl Thomas. Easy, and we also get David Thomas in 2006. 2010, Texans defensive end, pick 43. Ooh. I don't know who that is off the top of my head. Is that maybe um, 2010? Okafor? Really, none of the Okafors were drafted? Hold on. I, can, well, I guess... Nah, we'll look at it now. Alex Okafor. Now, he was drafted in, by the Cardinals in the fourth round. All right, I don't know why he's not here. Oh, rounds one to three. Okay. All right. Fair play. That's also Josh Doxson's height. That was for something else. This is a quiz that I tried to do, uh, and it went very poorly. So it's not a video. You see how I did it. It was not good. Also, I noticed Jerome did it when I searched it up on YouTube. So it's there's no point. I guess Jerome's a quiz guy now. Regardless, Texans defensive end, pick 43 in 2010. Who is 30 about years old right now that used to play for the Texans? Defensive end. I don't know. Raiders defensive end and linebacker in 2010. God, what is this quiz? I'm so bad. Oh, that's Lamar Houston. Uh, is who that is. Um, Bengals wide receiver in 2010. What's up with 2010, dude? I called McCoy's there. Is that? Oh, that's Jordan Shipley then. There we go. Redskins. That's Brian Arakpo. Buccaneers defensive tackle in 2009. Uh, who would that have been? He was a third round pick. If math is correct. It might not be. I think it is. Mm, he's... I, I'm not sure. Uh, not a math guy. I'm not going to do the math. Steelers 2008. I don't know. We're just going to go some of the guys that I know off the bat. That's Jamal Charles. Texans, tight end. Texans, tight end. I wonder if uh, Jermichael Finley was taken by the Texans. Guess he was. Forgot about that. Titans, safety, Michael Huff. Ooh, not Michael Huff. That's Michael Griffin, then. Excuse me. And Cedric Griffin. Cool. Giant cornerback. 2007, of course. What a bust. Loved him anyway, Aaron Ross. 2010, Falcons guard, Justin Blaylock. Broncos defensive end in 2007. Pick 56? Oh, that's a second round guy. So he had to have been a pretty good player at Texas. Just do Vince Young because I know he's there. Pick four for the Bear. Pick four? No way. Cedric Benson was taken number four overall. Oh, boy. 2005 Derek Johnson. Lions, it's Roy Williams, I think. And we have Mike Williams, too. Seahawks defensive tackle in 04. 
Oh, I see down there Steelers defense. Dad. That's Casey Hampton. Chargers cornerback is Quentin Jammer. Pick number two, a guard that played on the Cardinals. I don't know. I don't know who these guards are. He had 26 out of 36. It's not too bad. But, I mean, there are some obvious ones I, I have to be forgetting. Well, I mean, clearly. I should. I, I know all these players. And I just blanked on some of them. Uh, Buccaneers QB. Pick 97. Q quarterback. Who would have been? A, who was the starting quarterback for Texas in 2002? That I was so young. I was like four, slash five. Who was the starting quarterback? That's that's a weird year for me. Played on the Redskins. Oh no! Played on the Buccaneers. Buccaneers 2003. I don't even know, dude. I already typed John. I'm trying to think of. I know Josh Johnson didn't go to Texas. No, I know Josh Freeman also didn't. I'm going to type it anyway because I'm stupid. Buccaneers third round pick quarterback. Who would that have been? That one's probably fairly obvious. I mean, he probably didn't get any significant time, and the Bucks were really bad then. That one's tough. We're, we'll come back to it, maybe. Steelers, 2008 receiver. Pick 53. Some of these is just going back so far. I feel like I should be able to get Texans defensive end in 2010. I feel like I should be able to get that one. But it's just, it's remembering who played at Texas during that time. And how good they were. I don't want to give up already, but I might be in a position where I have to give up. Because I'm just not coming up with players. Pick 53 for the Steelers. Second round receiver for the Steelers in 2008. 2008 draft. Who was Vince Young throwing the football to? I'm getting my years so boggled right now with all these Texas players. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I wonder what the average score is on this. Since only eight player or eight players have taken the quiz. Eight quiz participants. Okay, use your head. Think for a minute. It's like part remembering who played on these teams, but also part like who played at Texas during that time. Uh who are some of these guys? Let's think about Texas players in the NFL. I know Lyle Sendline. I wonder if he's listed as a guard. How do you spell Sendline? Lyle. I, I spelled it right. I'll type it again. Not Lyle Sendline. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of offensive linemen. And... The Buccaneers quarterback's going to bother me. Redskins guard, too. I mean, that's going a while back, too. Especially for offensive linemen. I, you'd think I'd be able to remember a lot of these, though. And I, I mean, 26 out of 36 is still pretty good. Just disappointing. And I, I'm, I'm just going to give up. Sergio Kendall? Are you kidding me? Limus Swede. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Limus Swede was so bad. Lima Swede played like a year. Hold on. Lima Swede was absolute trash. Hold on, hold on a minute. Yeah, he played two years. He had seven career catches. You're that's a joke. <laughs> Roy Miller was good. Uh, I forgot he was a guy. Uh, Sergio Kendall, yeah, forgot about him. Tim Crowder, wouldn't have come up with that. Forgot about him. Marcus Tubbs. I don't know who that is. Corey Redding. Uh, I wish he was listed at defensive end. Like I know he's played. He's a more defense tackle guy, but he played defensive end in a three-four for for the Colts at least. And then might have for the Lions. I guess if he was drafted D tackle, that's fine. Derek Dockery. No. Chris Sims. You got to be kidding me. 
Leonard Davis, and then Sean Rogers. Ah, uh, Sean Rogers is one I should have gotten. Average score is half at 72%, I guess. I don't know, I'm, I'm mad I didn't get Roy Miller. Limus Tweed, that's a blast from the past. Chris Sims, really. Chris Sims was a perennial backup. I knew, I, I associate him with the Bucks. But he's just, I guess, I totally forgot he was a guy. I wonder if Chris Sims ever started a game in his life. I have, I have no idea. Um, no, he definitely did. Corey Red. I'm, I'm upset I forgot some of these names. That was a fun quiz. Thank you so much for making that for me. Um, groom. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go do that Giants quiz next. That was kind of fun. Yeah, if you guys want to tweet these at me, make ones. Uh, they're probably kind of fun to make. And it's kind of fun maybe to see me do them afterwards. I'm not sure. Okay, that's a sociopathic thing to say. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. How many did you get? Do you guys remember any of the ones that I didn't? I'm pretty sure, like, I don't think many people are coming up with Lima Swede because of how irrelevant he was. That'd be major red flags if you were coming up with him. Roy Miller, very, very memorable player. Same thing with Corey Redding for sure. Corey Redding, I bet many of you got. And then Sean Rogers is one too. Maybe a few got Chris Sims too. Hope Purple Swordfish, if you did this, you probably got Chris Sims. I kind of forgot he was at Texas, to be honest. And then Sergio Kendall is such a weird one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.